So the other day I was calmly scrolling through social media and I came across several posts, some of which were pretty questionable when it comes to muscle building. And I thought to myself, you know, advanced lifters, even intermediate ones probably know that these exercises are either inefficient or just downright ridiculous. But beginners, you know, who oftentimes are very impressionable may just fall for these gimmicks. And that's unfortunate because a lot of these gimmicky social media exercises exercises don't really teach you the fundamental principles of muscle growth. And there's one tool in particular that everyone needs if they want to build muscle, a logbook. That's right, you heard me. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be an actual logbook. It can be obviously something as simple as an app on your phone where you can track your progress. And the reason I am saying this is because the underlying principle for muscle growth is progressive overload. Now, progressive overload is when you gradually increase the weight, uh, frequency, or the number of repetitions in your strength training routine. Now, you may have heard certain people say something like, train harder than last time, or you have to keep pushing yourself. These are just different ways of saying the same thing, which is progressively overload. Basically, you need to provide an external stimulus for your muscles to adapt and grow, but at the same time, that stimulus needs to be increased periodically because your muscles will eventually adapt to it. So having a way to track your progress visually is invaluable when it comes to building muscle and strength because you'll accumulate data that is specific to your training program and to yourself, and you'll know what you need to do to improve over the course of time. Now, a couple years back, I really got into calisthenics and I wanted to improve my pull-ups. So first, I just started doing bodyweight pull-ups. Then I lost some fat and so pull-ups became easier. And so I progressively overloaded by doing more reps. Then I decided I wanted to get stronger. So I started doing weighted pull-ups at 10 pounds. When that became easy, I moved on to 15 pounds, then 25 pounds, and eventually on to 45 pounds. My back is now considerably bigger and stronger than it was before. Not because I was doing some gimmick, but because I was applying the principle of progressive overload and that's what you all need to do and that's what tracking your progress will help you do. I know this concept sounds silly in theory and perhaps even unnecessary, but give it a try. You will not believe how helpful tracking your training program with a logbook or just on your phone can be. If you're going into the gym and just winging your program and guessing the numbers of you know reps, sets, or weights that you can do, you don't really have a good grasp of what you need to improve quantitatively. Now, when you can see what it is you have already accomplished in the gym and what you need to improve, your focus and your goals become a lot more clear. If you're deadlifting 225 for five reps right now, then you know that as time goes on, either the reps or the weight is something that you want to increase in order to progressively overload to get stronger and bigger. And while it may not seem like much, these small improvements over the course of time are what will lead you to building muscle. Oh, that and other factors like, oh, I don't know, nutrition. But I've been tracking my workout since 2015, and I have to be honest, there are some days where I feel like my progress isn't that spectacular. But outside of injuries and setbacks, when I do look back at that progress, I've actually improved all of my lifts in terms of weights, sets, and rep ranges. And I can literally see that not just in the past few weeks, but in the past few years. And it also renews my motivation when I see how far I've come. So I know I'm doing something right. So if your goal is to build muscle, start writing down your lifts so that you know where and what you need to improve in order to progressively overload. Just give it a try. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it and I'll see you in the next one.